Eye Filters and welcome in today's video we're going to talk about eyes where to get them and what are the best eyes to get I get asked this question all the time and this is a really quick video if you've been felting for a while you probably know where to get your eyes and you don't need to watch this but if you're new to felting and you're a bit confused have a look at this video and hopefully it'll help you let's get started the very first set of eyes that I purchased was this round tub containing quite a few different sizes I'll just show you through it so here's this little pot I'll list it in the description below it's great <coughs> excuse me I've got a cold it was obviously a bit more full up um, but it's got a whole range of sizes if I get one out you can see it's got a very simple wire backing and a slight rounded bit it's not the best glaze on these but it's not too bad um, the kind of tools you're going to need when you're fixing an eye is you're going to need an awl which is really fantastic you can use the end of a pair of scissors if you get your scissors get them like that and then you can make the hole for the beginning bit but the awl is so much easier so you make the hole with your needle first then you put the awl in and then you put the eye in check the eye and I just use a general all-purpose glue and I've never had a problem with it so that tub worked for a while and was really good because of the range of sizes but I started to want different colours and sizes that maybe weren't in there and also the tub isn't labelled so you don't know what size things are for sure you have to measure it with your ruler so I moved to Cello Express on Etsy and they are fantastic and I'm not affiliated and I do not earn any money from them um, but they have little bags like this and you can choose the size of eyes that you want 12 mil eyes brown i'll go through a couple more six mil eyes 10 mil another 12 mil brown there's absolutely tons of different sizes all the way up to even the big ones here and i'll show you what i use them for in particular so i've just got a range of eyes here to show you a very simple black eye that's probably about six mil it's quite nice because the packs are all labeled really clearly so when you run out you know exactly what you've got to order and i've got so many eyes that, that makes a difference to me um there's a slightly bigger eye i do like it when they get the colored ones you can see it's got the brown around the edge and that works really well for some of my highland cows also I've got these quite unusual ones which have got a very light um, bit but you can choose all sorts of colours to have around your eyes so it's really fantastic <clears throat> and they go all the way up to the really large eyes and also to note if I can hold it they do little dog noses as well so that's quite handy if you're doing dogs. Um, one thing to mention is the backs of these eyes are nice and smooth and they are very easy to get in once you've created the hole these ones are slightly ridged and you can get them in it's absolutely fine but you really really have to be pushing the, the all in all the way up to the top here and sometimes you'll put them in see if they <clears throat> look okay and then pull them out and it even these ridges give it resistance so when you get the glue on it, you have to make sure that you're happy and you're right when you put it in because they're really quite hard to get back out, which is a good thing in a way. So the ones with the smooth backs are just a tiny bit easier, but um, I do still, so that's got smooth, I do still use an awful lot of these. It's just a little bit trickier. So on Cello Express, you can choose the number of eyes that you want to buy. So you can buy one pair, you can buy 10 pairs. There's also some where you can buy sort of 100 pairs for a good price. They come with all these white backings. That's if they're for sort of dolls for children and things like that. So we don't need those white backings. But these little tiny ones are quite cheap. Um, absolutely perfect if you're doing some little felts like my Penny the Pumpkin course. So tiny little eye. You can obviously use black wool and make your own eye it's um, completely fine and a lot of people do it and you can do a really really detailed eye uh, the Romeo rabbit that I did that video they showed you how to do the very detailed eye with the coloring and to put a bit of white and there are some some really fantastic felters that do amazing eyes but I personally just find it a lot easier and I like the glisten and the shape of some of the eyes um, I'll just show you a couple of the eyes that I've used so for this sheep here that I'm you doing right now, it does look a bit funny without the ears. I used a slightly lighter colour, but I've uh, done an, a top and bottom eyelid, so it doesn't look as starey. 
for the puffin eye um, that I did here, he's got a, a light brown and that looks really good and it makes a difference. I think um, it gives it a bit more of a feature rather than doing just the black. Here's the horse head I did recently and he has just got a black large eye but I'll show you a really good eye on the Amazon taxidermy ones in a minute. This horse here, I needle felted the eye and I could have done, this was in my early days I made this horse. I know he looks a bit funny with all the funny colours but it looks better from further away. Um, this Highland cow here, he's got a light brown eye um, and again I think that looks like quite a nice feature. And then just to show you this owl here, I needle felted, let's see if it focuses, there we go. I needle felted the eye, several different colours and then put a little glisten in the eye too. So, but the majority of the time I'm just using these sort of black eyes. They work really, really well, especially for all the smaller makes, little tiny black eyes and these ghosts here and things like that. Um, this Highland cow here, he's just got a large black one, but the Highland cows you can use with the light brown on the outside works really well. Alongside that, you can get sort of quite clear eyes and you can get some acrylic paints and you can paint the eyes yourself. Now, Cindy Lou Thompson's Needle Felting Dogs book, and it's called a masterclass in needle felting dogs. It really, really is. Um, there's some pages in there where she shows you how to do the eyes. Just to show you the Cindy Lou Thompson book, uh, she does some really good um, how to paint the eyes and the Dachshund one's really good as well. So really particular eyes um, and how to do them all. She does that for, um, I think, most of the dogs. So definitely worth looking at if you want to go into more detail. And then one of the last ways is if you're looking for really, really realistic eyes is to search up taxidermy eyes on Amazon and you'll get a very realistic effect depending on whether you're doing dolls, horses, um, goats in particular, their eyes are quite unique. I'll just show you some of those now. So just type in taxidermy eyes and you will just get a, a good range and you can see all of the colours. They do sort of the dolls, the human eyes, they can do quite well. Um, loads of different colours there, loads of different styles. So have a look through and there we go. That's a fantastic horse eye as well. Really good one. I hope that's helped in some way. If you get your eyes somewhere else, do let us know. Put it down in the comments. I also have a really good animal faces video, which I'm going to link just here. Do have a look at it because it will show you exactly how to put the eye in and how to do the rest of the animal face. Also on my Patreon, I have more involved videos on how to do um, faces and eyes with a lot more detail. I also have free videos on my Patreon now, this little Penny the Pumpkin's on there. The next video I'm going to do is about needles, whether to buy cheap ones or expensive ones and what's the difference, so subscribe. And coming up in a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing this really cute little moon gazing hair from um, Little Blue Artworks. So see you again soon, everybody, and thanks for watching.